is Veronica Campbell. I'll be teaching the differential diagnosis course and I wanted to help you prepare by giving you a self-palpation lab of where the organs are. So I do recommend that you look in your anatomy books, look at the structures, go through the palpation lab, maybe look at them again and practice this again because the more familiar you are with it on yourself, the easier it'll be for you to palpate on your patients. So where we're going to start with is taking your pinky finger and finding the bottom edge of your rib cage. So that inferior border of the rib cage. Once your pinky finger is angled along that, curl your hands up flat onto your rib cage. Now your right hand is covering your liver and your left hand is covering your stomach. So that gives you a nice easy orientation of where those are. If you curl your fingers and hands up, your thumb and index finger now are about at the border of the diaphragm. So above this is the thoracic cavity. So we have the heart and the lungs. Below this we're talking about the abdominal cavity. So go ahead and put your hands there again. And so if we think of the right hand as a liver, if you can feel your clavicle or your collarbone and divide that down, mid-clavicular line on the under border, the inferior border of the liver and the rib cage is the gallbladder. So if you curl your fingers under without poking, that's the area of the gallbladder. Okay, going back to our landmarks, liver, stomach. From the stomach, if you slide your wrist back just a little bit, about where your wrist is, is the area of the spleen. If you take that left hand and slide your hand down so that your ring finger nail is in your umbilicus, the angle of that hand now is approximately where the pancreas is. Again, go back to our landmarks, liver, stomach and we slide our hands down our side bodies and so now you can kind of feel where that groove is. Underneath your two hands, if you curl your hands around, this is the ascending colon and the descending colon. Where your fingers are, there's kind of like a gully. That's about where your kidneys are. So angle your hands more vertically. The right hand's a little lower because the liver is so large that the right kidney's a little lower. So right hand, kid, right kidney, left hand, left kidney. Now slide your hands down so that your thumbs are about at your umbilicus and then curl your fingers and hands together. So this area that you're holding is now the small intestines. Slide your hands out from there so that your pinky finger feels your ASIS or that bony prominence right there. Your hands are in a vertical position, your right hand is over your cecum and your left hand is over your sigmoid. And then below that are the pelvic contents. So this is a nice way to review and palpate where these organs are so superficially you know where they are and help you prepare for that first lab in class. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I look forward to seeing you soon.